is Yoga by Paige, and today we're going to work on just stretching out our side body and engaging our core. So with that said, we're just going to start right away at the front of our mats and stand up here in mountain pose and take an inhale and open up your chest, rotate your shoulder blades down your back, allow your palms to face the front of the ground, big toes are touching, and close your eyes here, take an inhale and exhale. Tapping into your body. If you feel like you need a little bit more warm up than this, feel free to go back and do my sun salve or sun salve video. Take an inhale all together. And exhale, drop into your body. Your next inhale here, float your fingertips up towards over your head. For mountain pose, gaze at your thumbs. With exhale for swan dive forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift, find your flat back, fingertips on the mat or your shins. Exhale to plant your hands, step back to a high plank pose. Wrap your triceps so that the eyes of your elbows are towards the front of the roof. Bring your gaze forward, smile on your clavicle, and exhale for chaturanga dandasana. Inhale upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. Take an inhale, bring your gaze between your hands. Exhale to step or hop between your hands for a full. Inhale, find to halfway lift, flat back. And exhale all the way down. Inhale, circle, shift your arms up over your head, gaze at your thumbs, fingertips touch. And exhale, hands to the heart center. Take an inhale, circle, sweep your arms up once more. Toe heel, your big toes to touch. And then exhale, sit down into your chair pose. Allow your fingers to come apart. Gaze is up. Fingers, arms are near your shoulders. Not your shoulders, your ears. <laughs> inhale, find length. And then exhale, tilt your pelvis under. Engage your core. And exhale, swan dive forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back between, to a high plank pose. Wrap your triceps, look forward. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. You're going to inhale to float your right leg up, keeping your hips so that they're level, so it might not be as high as you might. Think. Then exhale that hand all the way through, right between your hands. You're going to turn your left toes out 45 degrees so it points to the front edge of your left hand or your mat. Inhale up into a border one. And again, create that same scooping sensation. Engage your core, tilt your pelvis down. Your shoulders and your hips are still directly in line with the front of the room. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, place your hands on either side of that right foot. Pop up your left toes. Inhale for a high plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, 90 degree bend in your elbows. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. Inhale to float your left toes up. Again, keeping your hips squared off, not as high as you think. Exhale, your foot between your hands. Spin out your right toes for that 45 degree angle. And inhale, straight on up. Everything places towards the front of the room. You can even physically move your hips around to make sure. Shoulders as well. And then build your arms up here. Take an inhale, find length. And then exhale, hands on either side of that foot. Right toes pop up onto the ball of your foot. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, up the dog. And exhale, down the dog. Take a round of breath here to come back to your body. Settle into your down dog, reaching your heels towards the mat. This time on an inhale, you're going to float your right leg up. And then exhale your foot between your hands. And then turn your left toes out so that you are perpendicular with your front leg. You're going for a heel to arch alignment. Inhale up, 
all the way, warrior two pose. So your hips and your side body are towards the side of the room. Arms come out into a T, slight contraction in your rhomboids to feel a little bit of a chest opener. And you're going for a 90 degree bend in this front leg. You take an inhale, and your exhale allows you to sit deeper. This time, inhale, take your right palm up, and exhale to reverse the warrior. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, you're gonna bring this right hand either on the inside of your right foot, or if you need a little bit less, your elbow is gonna to come to your knee. Take an inhale, find length to grow out from your fingertips to the knife edge of your left foot. And exhale, roll open. Keeping your core engaged, so if you were to remove this arm, nothing would change. It's just there for a little bit of support. Inhale once more. And then on your exhale, you're just going to float right back up into your warrior two. Take an inhale to straighten your right leg. Allow your left hip to pop out. And then keeping your ribs leading with your right ribs towards the front of the room, you're just going to float out, keeping your arms parallel with the ground. As far as you can go, You'll reach a natural point, and then keep your arms into a T. Open it on up to your triangle pose, Trikonasana. Inhale here. Your inhale finds some lightness and buoyancy, engaged core. And your exhale just allows you to sit here deeper. If this bothers your neck to look up towards your thumb. Feel free to bring your gaze down. Take one more round of breath here. Inhale. And then on your exhale, you're just going to bend this right leg, so right back into that same warrior two. Your hand can be on the inside or the outside, but we're just going to walk this front leg back so you're in a side plank pose. And you'll see here, I'm on my fist. Sometimes side plank really bothers my wrist, so I just fist to this. And then if this is too hard, feel free to kickstand this bottom leg or even the top leg in front. Whatever is good for you. Take another round of breath here. Whoop. <laughs> Inhale. And then exhale, float that left hand down for a high plank pose. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, chaturanga down that one. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. Continue for our left side here. Inhale, your left leg up. And then the exhale, that foot between your hands. Turn your right toes up so that they're perpendicular. And inhale your arms all the way up for your warrior two pose. Take an inhale here. Squeeze your rhomboids together. Open your chest. And exhale, settle you in. Inhale, flip that left palm up. And exhale to reverse your warrior. Again, this right hand back here on your leg is just there for a light touch. You should be able to move it without your bottom moving at all. Take an inhale. And then exhale to your extended side angle. Again, you can have your knee, your elbow on the knee, or your hands down on the inside. If that feels super awesome, try for the outside. I'm not quite there today. Take an inhale. Grow long out of your fingertips to the knife edge of your foot. Gaze is up. Once more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, flow up into your warrior two. Exhale here, settle you in. Inhale, just straighten this left leg. Allow your right hip to pop out. Leading with your left front ribs here. You're just going to slowly start to shift your weight forward. You might already feel the hamstring stretch. And once you can't go any farther, keeping your arms into that T, it's going to drop down. Raise up your right arm. Take an inhale here. Engage your core. You want to pretend as if you're between two panes of glass. And you're not just hanging out here on this. You can use your left hand to push in to your calf. I like that a lot. It helps me suck everything up. Or you can use a block. Whatever's good for you. Take an inhale. And then exhale. You're going to come right back into your warrior two. Inhale here. 